Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nancy. Happy birthday to you. I love you, Nancy, and I hope you have a wonderful birthday. And there's so many amazing memories that I could share and so much fun we have had together. I think probably when all of us, all the sisters and brother-in-laws, we all went to Hawaii, that was pretty much one of the best memories. You and Richard and Debbie and Chuck and Jerry and Lori. Wow, that was just, I don't know, it was like a dream. And I'm so grateful for that time we had, we had together. And there's many more memories to come. And I love you. I hope you have a very wonderful birthday, my precious, godly, wonderful, loving sister. I wish I could be with you. Love you, love you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nancy. Happy birthday to you. Hey, girl, I hope you have a great day and uh, enjoy your special time um, and celebrate yourself. And um, hopefully we can all get together soon and have our little meals and you can cook us a nice meal and have us over. Anyway, I hope you have a great birthday. We love you. Big hugs. Happy birthday, Aunt Nanny. Mommy. Of course, we just love uh, you so much and we have so many wonderful memories, but a few did come to mind. Um, Madeline and McKenna, why don't y'all say what y'all were thinking of? Okay, hold on. <laughs> My favorite thing about you, Aunt Nanny, is your warm hugs. I always love getting one from you. And my favorite <laughs> memory of you is that one time that we were in the car and we, me and McKenna had gotten Slurpees and then you got a brain freeze and that was funny. <laughs> my favorite memory of you is always being funny and then the thing I like about you is always being kind and helpful. Yes, we love how sweet you are. I can remember growing up, all of our fun times together, fun memories, laughter, and of course, um, our back massages. We enjoyed doing that for one another. That was so nice. And um, I always was inspired by you as a nurse. And so I became a nurse and uh, we love helping people. And I know that you love people and helping people. And we just love you so much and want to say happy, happy birthday. We hope you have a wonderful birthday. Have um, a great birthday. We love happy, how happy you birthday. help us to laugh um, when we need a good laugh. And we just love you. And we hope you have a wonderful birthday. Bye-bye. Bye. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Aunt Nanny. Nanny. We, we love you. you. And we just want you to know we have so many wonderful memories with you. And... Um, some of the most recent memories that I have that I can think of uh, with you is when you were there for Nate and his dad when he passed away and what a selfless act that was for you to go up there because I know that um, that wasn't easy for you with that hospital and all the all the things that were going on and we just thank you for that and we love you and we just um, are always just appreciative for you and being there for us. We hope you have a wonderful day. Happy birthday. Video on. Okay, here we go. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Blow out the candles. Yay. Now say happy birthday, Nanny. Happy birthday, Nanny. That, that was good. Good morning and happy birthday, Nancy. I just wanted to share some fond memories that I have with you. Um, the very first one I wanted to share was when I was at the hospital in Irving in labor with Crystal and I could hear your voice before you even got past my room. Richard was bringing you in and you were insisting that this was not Braxton Hicks, that you were in labor and that you were not leaving the hospital without Amanda that day. 
you did leave the hospital without Amanda that day. But of course she came just less than two weeks later. Now roll ahead quite a few years and we are in another delivery room and Crystal is in labor with Claudia. But you and Amanda are both there and you're helping us to stay strong through the delivery and you were there when Claudia came into this world. Now, the last memory I wanted to share was just this past Christmas, we got all dressed up to go see White Christmas at the Palace Theater in Grapevine. We had a wonderful time, but on the way home, we got pulled over by a policeman who asked if we had been drinking. Of course, you immediately let him know that we do not drink, but I will let you explain the rest of that story to everyone. Happy birthday to my precious friend. May God bless this year more than you could ever possibly imagine. Love you. Good morning and happy birthday, Nancy. I just wanted to share some very fond memories I have with you. The first one I'd like to share is when I was in Irving, in the hospital, in labor with Crystal. And before I saw you, I could hear you coming down the hall with Richard and letting everyone know that this was not Braxton Hicks, that you were in labor and that you were not leaving the hospital without Amanda that day. You ended up leaving the hospital without Amanda that day, but of course, she came less than two weeks later. Now roll ahead quite a few years and our girls are grown and I am in the hospital once again in a delivery room with Crystal and she is in labor with Claudia and you and Amanda are once again there in the delivery room helping us through keeping us strong and you were there when Claudia came into this world both you and Amanda how fitting is that and then the most recent memory just this past Christmas you and I got all dressed up and went to the Palace Theater in Grapevine to see White Christmas. And we had a wonderful time. But on the way home, we got pulled over by a policeman who asked if we had been drinking. Of course, you immediately let him know that we do not drink. And I will let you explain the rest of that story to everyone. But I just wanted to say happy birthday to my precious friend. May God bless you this year in ways you never imagined. I love you. Thank you.